back welcome back so in this video we're going to continue talking about scatter plots and um, we're going to talk about clusters uh, and outliers and how to describe those like you're going to have to in your homework uh, so this first image and these are vocab words you should have defined then this first image uh, we are showing clusters so here's a cluster of data points um, and uh, in the middle image, what's shaded in is what we call a gap, because there's a gap between our points, so nothing's happening, um, or no data points are between, say in this case, 3 and 6.5, and so that's a gap that we have. Um, and then we have our outliers, those points that don't really fit in uh, with the other points and so they're just kind of sitting out there uh, doing their own thing which there's nothing wrong with doing your own thing all right so in our first example of clusters for example four for uh, section 3.5 uh, we the graph is representing the ages and heights of several people in a classroom and we want to identify any clusters and outliers in the graph and then explain our reasoning so when I'm looking at this graph, I notice this cluster here, but I would actually um, say that the cluster is actually these points here. And so when we talk about a cluster, we're going to talk about uh, what it fits between x, y's and what it fits between y, you know, on our y. And so I'm going to say that there is a cluster between the ages and so ages is my X so I'm going to look here and here are my two uh, are my uh, what we're between and so we're between the ages of, if I continue down, 10 and 15. So there is a cluster between the ages of 10 and 15. And the height. Like I said, we do ages, and then we've got to look at the different heights. So here we are, approximately there and there. Um, and so I would say we're barely above the 48, so I would say that's 49. Of the, and heights of 49, and it's an estimate. And um, that's about halfway. So I would say there's probably four on either side, so 60, 49 and 60 inches. That describes our cluster. That's telling you um, a majority of our information or most of our dots are happening between ages of 10 and 15. Those are most of the students in the room. And uh, their heights are between 49 inches and 60 inches. Now, when it comes to outliers, we're looking at um, different factors. And so we could break these outliers into two, two different groups. One that like fits in age-wise, but not height-wise. Uh, and then a set of outliers that don't fit in in either group. They don't fit in the age or the height, but really, and we're just going to say our outliers are uh, this point, it's 10, so I would get, estimate that at 12, comma 64. We're right on that line. And then this next one, what is that, like 31? 31, comma 66, because, yeah. 66 and our last one we are just beyond 40 so I would say 41 
for the age, and we're right on the line, so 72 for the height. So our outliers are sitting at these points. Now I'll explain our reasoning as to why these are our outliers, and it's because they do not seem to fit with the rest of the data. Now, not all scatter plots will have clusters, um, but if we're talking something like where a lot of, if we were to do something in the classroom, which that would be my goal at some point, is for us to do some of our own scatter plots. But if we were to do something in our classroom that has to do with ages, you guys are going to fall between the same two ages. And so our data is all going to be within um, just a few, uh, two years, right? And so that's going to create a cluster. Just uh, FYI. All right, so there is one more video to um, 8.5. So I will see you in that video about association.